Hey, what's up guys? This is Beside Investing. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, we're gonna cover Hive blockchain today. And uh, yeah, so just a quick disclaimer. I am invested in Hive. And uh, you can follow my channel through the challenge video that I do from 1K to 100K. And if you go down here, you can see that I'm invested in Hive. Uh, it may not be much, but I'm starting. I started with one thousand dollars, and slowly growing it, and investing, and putting in monthly money, monthly, uh, kind of monthly. Uh, instead of putting in on March, so uh, total we have about twenty eight hundred and seventy five dollars uh, cash just put in, and then uh, the growth total uh, currently uh, because of the crazy, crazy down market. Um, looking at 72 percent uh gain uh so i think we're doing pretty good overall uh despite the crazy down market that we're having um but used to be around 300 percent gain so i think um i was doing pretty good then but then you know it's still good now anyways um so yeah, if uh, you guys are invest, uh, if you guys are interested in using Vault Simple, it's a free Canadian uh, commission, free commission, uh, no trading fees, anything like that. Um, you can use the link in the description below. Uh, that's another way to support the channel. And uh, if you have a friend that uses Vault Simple, you can use their link as well. Uh, yeah. So okay. So with Hive, um, so they did announce today, uh, right here that uh, completed the acquisition of Green Energy 50 megawatt data center in New Brunswick with potential to grow to uh, 80 megawatt. Yeah, so so um, before this, they did, this is uh, just an update video. I mean, like an update article, uh, updated press release, sorry, uh, because they've already, if you go to their website, you can just go through the press uh, news and then go back all the way down to February 25th. So if you go down to February 25th, you see right here, it's the same article pretty much. This is the beginning of the uh, partnership that or acquisition um, that they have with GPU one. And uh, most of the article here, the details here is pretty much similar to what we have um, in this data center acquisition. Uh, so we'll just go through it um, together. So yeah. Okay, so it uh, was previously announced, right? So I so showed you the article, the acquisition of 50 megawatt data center campus uh, in New Brunswick. So that's in Canada, uh, eastern, like a, uh, Atlantic area, like near Maine, if you're in the U.S. Yeah, so it's up north there. Uh, from GPU Holdings, so GPU one to expand hives. Canadian footprint. Hive is already invested in data centers or mining centers in uh, Quebec, pro the province of Quebec. Uh, so if you're from US, it's the state of Quebec pretty much. And uh, this acquisition will build uh, long-term assets on our balance sheet and complete our ESG strategy to only mine coins on the cloud from sources of low cost sub uh, surplus green energy. So ESG, once again, if you check out my other uh, previous video, uh, you would know that it is the uh, environmental, social, and corporate governance strategy. So this is pretty much being environmentally friendly and uh, pretty much running a greener company. So less harm to the uh, environment. And... Uh, Right, so GP1 is a key management with many years of deep data center experience. So they'll be joining Hive, and uh, yeah, so so they have a little section, pretty much uh, paragraphs on different uh, points that they want to cover. So we'll just go by one by one. Uh, it is a bit long, so I guess just yeah, stay tuned. Um, okay, so Ethereum continues to be very strong in price, with many demand driven like uh, many demand drivers. Sorry like the growth of stablecoin, DeFi, and NFTs. Um, I think these are pretty huge markets on its own. DeFi especially, it's going to be a huge market. Um, you have to realize we're still in the uh, early stage, so these technology will be, some of them will be experimental, 
and some of them will slowly just uh, get adopted slowly um, yeah or uh, the bonus uh, or the additional transaction uh, fees earned were exceptional last quarter uh, like last summer so uh, we continue to upgrade our memory from 4 gig uh, 4 gigabyte to 8 gigabyte memory card okay so uh, they just updated their ethereum mining that's pretty much what they're talking about here and obviously they experienced some delays with the shipping of uh, equipment mining equipment so and uh, also they said that here they've been using four gigabyte card to mine ethereum classic which is very profitable uh, okay so with the data center uh, so s formerly gpu atlantic and uh, now it's a subsidiary called Hive Atlantic Data Center. So, uh, is the owner of 50 megawatt substation uh, and a data center campus in Grand Falls, New Brunswick, with a dedicated cryptocurrency mining operation uh, with access of with access to 50 megawatt of low cost green power for a total purchase uh, price of approximately 25 mil. Um, so that's 4.6 million shares and. 400,000 shares will go to the minority partners at a team's price of $5 per share. So obviously you're wondering like, cause the sh uh, share price is $4 now, um, you're wondering why it's five bucks. Well, obviously, because, uh, like I said, this is a, just an update on the, um, on the acquisition. Uh, this has been, they've confirmed this acquisition way back in March, uh, sorry, February 25th. And uh, back then, the price was about, mm, if you look at here, March 20, uh, February 25th. Uh, but at the time, it was around 5.09. So that's uh, why there's a huge dis discrepancy. Uh, this deal was made way back then. So, um, yeah, so let's see. Okay, so it says right here, pursuant to the acquisition, uh, acquisition 1 million shares will be allocated to a pull back and earn out to GPU one upon delivery of certain earn out conditions. Now we don't know what conditions they are. So this is pretty much a, an incentive based kind of. So each plat, uh, each uh, goal they hit, uh, it's pretty much like bonus type incentive. So that's 1 million shares uh, allotted, uh, kept aside for that. So. So the acquisition will again more than double Hive's total available power capacity globally to approximately 100 megawatt. So that's pretty big. Uh, they'll need all of that for future hash rate growth. So, okay, so this uh, state of the art facility features 50 megawatt substation, two fully operational data center buildings offering a combined 30 megawatt of ready to go uh, ready to plug space electrical infrastructure that is unique to crypto concern mining and a highly skilled technical team of executives and operational staff uh, there's not much detail here but you can go to the previous article here and you can look at right here so it says right here hi welcomes its new employees under gpu atlantic formerly gpu atlantic now it's hive atlantic um hive atlantic data center right so uh, you can look at the employees that are moving over into uh, this four people. Yeah, four people going to um, their new Hive subsidiary. So, okay, so that's that. And covering here, uh, let's see. We did cover that, Megabot. So the campus also provides for space electrical capacity and materials to continue its pursuit of growth within the existing infrastructure with a third data center building with a capacity of 20 megawatt planned for delivery and ready for occupancy in calendar Q3. So also it looks like GPU Atlantic's in-house software is ahead of the competition and provides seamless and remote control of its facility and mining equipment under management. So, uh, they also say that HODL is growing and a combined inventory of Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and uh, Bitcoin. Uh, it has expanded to 75 million US dollars as of close Friday. So that's last week. And 
uh, majority being with Ethereum. Okay, so they also go over the Ethereum Classic that they're mining. Uh, now, they did say that they're using the 4 gigabyte card to mine Ethereum um, because it is cheaper and it seems to be very profitable here too. So, uh, so it says Ethereum Classic price surge from $20 to $40 a coin uh, because they're very profitable uh, with a short payback. So the size is very small, but very profitable. And they use that uh, so we have chosen to mine and sell these coins to assist in covering electricity and basic general and administrative cost while saving in cold wallets our Bitcoin and Ethereum production. So that makes sense because these two are the biggest and uh, their main bread and butter. So they use the smaller one to pay off any fees, any uh, expenses that they have. So yeah. So all in all, they have a cash and coin asset of approximately 105 million us dollars so currently their market cap is 1.5 billion dollars and this would be canadian 5.1.5 uh, million dollar a billion dollars if we go to the us ticker we can see a us price so that's 1.2 let's just say 1.2 billion uh, so if you just compare with the cash and coin uh, value to market cap that's what 11 12 12x so that's not even considering that they have so much pro profit generating uh, miners and all that so yeah so hive currently of course because of the ethereum price going down to twenty one hundred dollars it is affecting their price um, but at the moment um, because of the news I don't think it did kind of cushion the blow of the past weekend's uh, flash crash. So, um, yeah, I think it could have been way worse, but uh, it did recover throughout the day after the uh, open. So, uh, tomorrow, I'll probably be releasing this video tomorrow, so um, that's when you'll be watching it in the morning. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, my thoughts on it to, uh, on Hive, it's a it's becoming an undervalued company again at four dollars and seven cents. Uh, that's Canadian, by the way. Um, the value is there with these miners. The market is really unstable. Uh, there's a lot of confusion, and also today, just the market is down overall. Usually, like the past week and a half or so. The market was doing fine and then crypto was doing fine and then just the miners were kind of struggling so um there's a lot of factors at like attributing to that um one could be the meme uh coins kind of like uh dogecoin is kind of uh, growing fast at a fast rate and then there's also the coinbase ipo that just happened um on a wednesday and uh and uh yeah there's uh, too many things going around and uh over the weekend we had the chinese uh, miners in that region um they had a blackout uh but they recovered nice like it, the hash rate uh, came right back but the price just fell so um yeah just uh, it's not nothing to worry about because hive it's mainly ethereum focused and we all know uh ethereum there's a lot of there's a lot of projects and uh there's a lot of projects on ethereum network so uh, i don't think uh, i think ethereum has way more growth to go than uh, bitcoin uh, of course bitcoin in about six seven years they are predicting that it's going to be up to a million dollars so just think about how much growth Ethereum has left to go so and with the smaller coins as well so yeah um, right uh, they're also doing this keynote uh, panel with other 66 companies and uh, if you go down the list you'll see a lot of companies that are familiar like Banksa Holdings um, okay maybe just for me not that much companies but so you got Hive and let's see 
it's a lot of it's a lot of small companies that I'm not familiar with. I see Voyager Digital. Hmm, that's about it. Okay, I thought there would be more crypto companies, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, anyways, feel free to uh, like and subscribe and smash that like button to help out with the algorithm, the YouTube <laughs> algorithm. And uh, hopefully you took something from this. And uh, yeah, so. And uh, I don't think there's any update here. But uh, yeah, so uh, please know this is not financial advice. Uh, always do your own research. So, and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Peace.